people to the channel where we talk about meerkat, meerkat related stories, incidents, and meerkat family histories. Or not. Or we could talk, you know, alternatively about pedals. Fuzz pedals powered by clipping diodes that use carbon stuff because some nuclear fizzy stringy people did stuff with quantum things. I don't know. Smart Canadians did something where you usually use silicone, which is an element, or germanium, which is some other element. Um, they said, fuck that! Well, they probably said that in Canadian, which means, oh, please excuse me, um, could you uh, not? You know, because they're so polite. Um, except Glenn. Um, and they said, let's do carbon for clipping. So they developed the nanolog device um, instead of germanium or silicone. And today we're looking at the orbital fuzz by Nanolog Audio Inc. from Le Canada. I'm not a fan of fuzzes. You know that. Which makes it even more interesting to review fuzz because what do I think of it? Now, in this case, it's a very special one because it... Uh, it uses carbon clipping uh, in the nanolog devices. So if you look at the N1 and N2, that is the nanolog device. So pretty much these are, I, I guess, stacked gain stages. So you have gain stage one and gain stage two. I don't know which one is, if this is running into this or this is running into this, no idea. Um, as I said, on the other nanolog audio ink paddles, um, top loaded, nine volt on top. Uh, the one thing they have to fix is the knobs, which are going through the hole in the chassis. And there is no washer or nut securing it to the chassis, which means you kick that thing and the knobs will break off the PCB. They are relative noobs in the pedal world, which means that simply is something that they'll have to do and they will all good. We had a little talk about that. Cool guys, I really like them. I had a nice chat with Adam from Nanolog. Um, so, these knobs don't feel super mega awesome. This feels kind of a little bit flimsy. If they get their knob game uh, happening, it's all good, if you ask me. So what do we have? We have two gain stages. I don't know which is one and two. I don't know if this is fed into this or this is fed into this. Technically, it doesn't matter. You can set them to either silicone or their N2 device, which is their Nanolog device, which has more gain. There's also an N1, which has less gain. Now, uh, the behavior of the carbon clipping apparently is much more dynamics, less compression, therefore more dynamics, and... Um, uh, a little bit less distortion than usual. So a silicone uh, diode, is that the right word? I don't know. Transimster, triode, I don't know. Will distort less, uh, more. Silicone will distort more than uh, carbon. And here you can pick which one you use. So um, two gain stages. I can turn one off, so they're always both on. You have a gate, you have a tone, you have a fuzz, you have a volume, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going into the Tone King Sky King right now, which is behind me, it's this thing, right, look at Leslie being on point. Um, Sky King right there. So the amp is wired into my whole system, as is the cab of the combo. So I disconnected them, meaning that's going into the MP switcher right above my shoulder. Um, and that means I can pump any of the amps into that cap. So what you're hearing when I'm playing, which I'm not right now, is the aux with a 412 Creamback loaded speaker, mic with the two mics, I don't know which ones, standard ones. Um, and then also mixed in is this MTP440 by Lewitt right there, which is uh, miking this cap, with, which is a special Celestian Tone King speaker, which is a slightly revoiced V30. I've been told. Point is, 
amp sounds killer, great pedal platform, a lot of low end, which you will see. And then we're gonna go into a shit ton of other amps because that's what we do here. That's why these videos are long. We're doing this with Blanche, my tone folks, Bulldog. Um, Blanche is a goldie, golden girl, you know, and she was the slutty one. And we're doing fuzzes. How much more freaking slutty than a gold top with P90s in a jack form into a fuzz can you get? That is slutastic, slutacular. You want, you want to see the neck? You want to see the... Come on, come on. This is rosewood that was imported into Germany in 1962. We don't even know how old it is. Uh, the Spanish cedar is from the 80s, uh, early 80s. This guitar is as good as it comes. Thank you, Jason Lola, for the pickups, 2P90s, and a Charlie Christian in the middle. For the in-between positions that are Stratty, but not um, ABM Bridge and... Graftech Ratio Tuners, all these companies supported me on building this guitar and Uwe, Uwe Schultz from Tone Fuchs, a uh, brilliant guy and his marketing man, the man with the beard whose name no one really knows. Beardy man. Um, so, here is a clean So Let me show you the in-between in the back with the uh, talking, come on. <laughs> So that, enough, what was that? That was horrible. Um, so much for beauty, let's go to fuzz. God, this is fun! Look at all the meerkats being super excited. Um, I'll turn this on. I'm already sold. It's blown up, it's big, it's ugly, and it's beautiful. It's a kind of a beautiful kind of ugly, if you know what I mean. No gate. Only gate. Gates noch? Ha! That's a German joke. Wish there was less gain, which we can achieve probably with the carbon. But let's look at the tone. Did you hear that? Told you that their, their, their knob game needs to come up. You can't walk a tricky. Come on, be a DJ. Built in DJ. Thing. Turntable. I would rap, only that I really shouldn't. That is a great sound. That is, I, I don't know what that is, but that's fun. Let's do more gain there. That is so broken.
Oh, what a fucked up great sound. Let's move on to All The Way Carbon. So much rounder. in there with the silicone settings being all uh, and this being overdrivey but still fuzzy there's a lot of tones <laughs> Nothing comes through, okay? So let's mix and match. Let's do this. different sound that's crazy Probably into different apps. I just uh, put the Friedman on BE mode because I want to see how it pushes an already driven amp. Um, there are a lot of beautiful sounds in there. I mean, all of them are fuzz. Okay, so beautiful is maybe stretching the word, but um, you can have fun with this. And I gotta say, probably one of my more favorite fuzzes because you have the range. Um. And since I'm home, I'm home on the range. No, I, I really tried. I tried. I'm sorry. God, shouldn't try lame jokes. No, I really should. So, um, Rev Dynamis, let's go here. Rev 
Rev Dynamis. I will stay on the double... I will stay on the double carbon setting, because that's what it's about, that's what we're testing. I love how many notes you can play with the fuzz, that's great. It's a very transparent fuzz, or whatever that means. Moving on to the Vox AC30, that's an amp that many people have. There's a lot, there are a lot of mids in there, and uh, things are blowing up a bit here. Here. Moving on to the Dietzel Powell, which is a little bit twinish. too much. Got to be careful here. Feels like sustain is going away. And uh, with the bright amp, maybe not so much. Unless you want that. Moving on to the non-master volume, uh, the Black Country Custom Laney Tony Aomi LA30BL. You figure out what the crap that thing is called and where to get it and who actually makes it. I don't know. But it's a great amp. No master volume, you really, literally blow that thing up. Listen to that. If I want to rock and roll, then that's what I Whoa! I don't know. 
not let that. But whoa, good combination. Uh, moving on to the, 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 the Dirty Shirley by Friedman, which sounds by itself like so. <laughs> That needs more brightness. Not the best combination that Laney was definitely jiving with it more. I don't know if that's what you say. Orange Rocker Verb 50. A lot of mids. I'm going to say probably not the best combo. Or maybe it is. It's beautiful because those mids really cut in, but not for rhythms with that amp because... I mean, in a band, it's cool because it's lean. Friedman small box, which I said is already cranked a bit. Um... Floppiness on the attack, so it might be volume. to the Tone King. So similar to the experience with the other, it's like magic, Harry Potter shit, um, with the other Nanolog Audio Ink pedals, uh, amp choice is quite important. Because this thing transformed into a rhythm powerhouse, a singy lead thing, um, or some something that I wouldn't want to use, depending on the amp that we were in. Now, I tried to give you as many options as possible, um, switch pickups, whatever, you and the Meerkats decide. Uh, these things do clock in over 200 Dollars. I don't know if that's Canadian or US, which means they're not inexpensive pedals. But again, this is a new technology. I'm pretty sure those nanolog devices out of carbon uh, don't come cheap. And that is something that these very, very clever Canadians came up with. Um, might warrant you checking it out with your equipment and seeing if you like it. I love the fact that there are so many different clipping in drivey stage options so you've got one two three four because two combined with something and then times makes four um 
I don't know things. Thanks, Adam and Nanolog, for sending that over. And let me check it out. Um, this has been, or will hopefully be, paid for. We'll find out. Um, links below. Animals at Le Fin, which is Finnish for French. And uh, it's been fun, as always. See you guys. It's me. I claim the light. But it's getting darker when there's no one left inside. Is this the end of hope? Is this the end of love? Is this the end of tears? Is this the end of scars? Has everyone moved out? Is there nothing left to